So yo-yo, yo-yos are a lot of fun. They're also really interesting physics. So what is a yo-yo? Well, it's, you know, as you can see, it's an inner cylinder where the string is attached, and then two outer disks attached. Well, I have here a specially constructed yo-yo. It's the exact same thing, but it's bigger. And uh, it has two advantages. One is the inner cylinder is longer, so the string doesn't bunch up on top of each other. And you'll see when we do the calculation, this is important. It gives a consistent inner radius the whole time it's going down. And the other nice thing about it being bigger is that the motion detector right here will uh, pick it up a little better. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the experiment uh, using the motion detector to get the acceleration of the yo-yo as it drops. And then we'll do a calculation, get in a theoretical number for the acceleration, and uh, with an error, the two should agree. So what I'll do here is, here's the motion detector. Motion detector sends sound waves up that they'll bounce off the yo-yo and the sound waves will come back down. And that, using that time and the uh, speed of sound, the motion detector can figure out how far away the yo-yo is from. All right, let's put the uh, experiment up. And I'll hit go, and then I'll go over and bring the yo-yo. the yo-yo over the motion detector, so the motion detector is bouncing sound waves off the ceiling. So it's measuring the height of the ceiling, it's a little less than three meters, which seems about right. Then I finally got the yo-yo over, I obviously jiggled a little bit, and then I released the yo-yo, and that's its position versus time as the yo-yo is in, uh, in flight. And we can see that the yo-yo is accelerating downward because we have a curved position time graph. And that shows acceleration. Now let's take a look at the velocity graph. And let me just adjust the axes so we can actually see what's going on here. Let's make that a minus 1. Make that a 1. And so now we can see that this, this right here is the area where the yo-yo is, um, is in flight. And so if we take the slope of the velocity time graph, that gives us the acceleration. And we see we have a slope of 0.3245. Excellent. Now let's do the calculation. 